Look at this beauty. Listen to this stillness. This is God's world, his creation, and we are so blessed to get to spend time out in it. It's where I feel the most peace and the closest to our creator. My name's Shelley Williams, and I'd like to talk to you just a little bit today about creation care. I love that the Episcopal Church makes such a big deal about creation care. In fact, there's a covenant written about it that I'd like to read to you right now. In Jesus, God so loved the whole world. We follow Jesus, so we love the world God loves. Concerned about the global climate emergency, drawing from a range of approaches for our diverse contexts, we commit to form and restore loving, liberating, life-giving relationships with all creation. Over these last seven months, I have spent a lot of time outside and it's just been such a peaceful time and it's been in my backyard, but most especially on our church campus. I invite you to do the same. Get out there, pray, meditate, walk, just enjoy. I invite you to be part of taking care of creation, of creation care. And there's three ways you can do that. Three action steps. The first is just getting out in nature, exposing yourself. The second thing, that exposure leads to a tremendous gratitude. Spend time in that. Gratitude and praise. And that overflows into action. There's so much we can do to take care of this creation. We're part of it and we're co-creators with God. And if you're not sure what you can do, we have some great church resources, both in our All Saints Weekly Word and through episcopalchurch.org slash creation care. There's lots of doable, simple steps that you can take part in. And that gives you great hope for the future of this world. Thank you for spending time with me. I appreciate and love all of you and can't wait to see you out in this great outdoors, God's world.